friends, it's Jenny from Origami Tree and today I would like to make a quick video to show you how to make your very own solar eclipse glasses for those of you who plan to view the eclipse and want to do it safely. So of course there are NASA approved solar eclipse glasses that you can buy but they're pretty much sold out everywhere as I've heard um, and some of them are knockoffs so you definitely don't want to buy those. So if you can't get your hands on one of those glasses you can actually make your own from supplies that you probably already have in your home. So how this work is with your back facing the sun you look through the left hole right over here and on the inside you can actually see an inverted projection of the solar eclipse and the longer the box the longer the projection is going to be I just happen to have a cereal box lying around so if the sun is right over here and your back is right over here um, the sunlight is going to shine into this pinhole right here that you created and then you can look through here and see the solar eclipse and without further ado let's jump right in to make the solar eclipse viewer, you're going to need a cereal box, some aluminum foil, a piece of white cardstock or paper, a pencil or pen, some tape, I will be using duct tape, glue, and a pair of scissors. First take a pencil and trace the bottom of the cereal box. To make it easier, I'm aligning it to the lower left hand corner so I only have to cut twice. So what you do is you align it to the corner just like this and then take your pencil and trace along it. Then take a pair of scissors and cut it out. And you want to cut it out a little smaller than it actually is. Next, take your glue stick and put some glue on your white sheet of paper. And glue your white sheet of paper all the way at the bottom. Then take some tape and seal the box shut. Then you want to mark about an inch and a half on either side. Then take a pair of scissors or a mat knife to cut out the rectangle. Now take your sheet of aluminum foil and lay it over one of the holes. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to put it on the right side and tape that down. Now take a thumbtack needle or pencil and poke a hole right in the middle. Now this next step is completely optional, but if you want to make it look prettier, you can paint over it or you can use some decorative duct tape like I'll be using. So I actually ran out of duct tape in the middle of my project, which is really unfortunate. So that's what you get when you buy duct tape from the 99 cent store. But anyway, um, I have a backup pattern, so I'm just gonna put this on here. I know it doesn't match or anything, but hey, you know, you gotta compromise. Now when you're taping the top, you want to make sure you don't cover the pinhole area, otherwise it will just completely defeat the entire point of what we did earlier. So just make sure you don't cover this area. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, even though I made a major craft fail here, please hit that subscribe button. I post new crafty fun videos all year round and wouldn't want you to miss it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I hope you enjoy the solar eclipse.